Wilmington Mayor Mike Perzicki has been on the job a little under two months, so we thought we'd check in with him as our first person this week. Mayor, thanks so much for being here. Great to be here. Um, you're about a month away from presenting <coughs> your budget. How How is that process going along? It's just a, a much more involved process than anybody would imagine, and you, and you really have so little time mm -hmm. to prepare because for the first month, and I don't think it's a month, it's about a month and a half now, it, uh, for the first month, you're just trying to get your sea legs. You know, mm -hmm. it's, <clears throat> there's so much to know, there's so, mu so many details of governance that you're not, you're certainly not acquainted with until you're in there. And all of a sudden, now you've got to start preparing a budget. And I, I look at the budget as, as an extremely important document because it really, it creates the priorities for the government as well. And I think, uh, it's, a ch it's a shame if you don't take full advantage of the time to lay out what is a philosophical mm -hmm. as well as financial roadmap for the city. You had the no workman's compensation surprise. Any other surprises yeah. that you've hit uh, along the way? Well, I think the, I think the surprises that you run into are the, uh, a lot of the details of contracts, the, kind, mm -hmm. the kinds of things that constrain management from trying to run the government. Uh, and that's not to say that they're not it's not a value judgment, it's trying to get an understanding of what you can do and what you can't do and what I think, uh, uh, what labor does right and what they, in my opinion, uh, what that does wrong. And so we have, to, we have to constantly, you know, kind of reacquaint ourselves with a lot of these uh, issues that on the campaign trail you just never come in touch with. Right. The uh, issue of violence obviously continues to be a problem in the city. We had the double homicide this week. Right. Um, Anything new to speak of on the policing front with what's going on with the joint operation? Well, that's been that's been very helpful on two fronts. Number one, it has helped to have uh, additional officers out on the street. Additional police presence is always important. But two, and I think probably more important, is that the public has been has been heartened by the idea that our governments can all work together with common purpose, mm -hmm. without any political infighting that I think has occurred in the past. And, th that's, and that's been dispiriting to the public at large, to think that government can't even work together in pursuit of a, a commonly uh, embraced goal of reducing violence and working together to do that. And so, you know, my sense is that this effort by our state police and our county police working with our, our uh, Wilmington Police Department has been more heartening because of the sense of cooperation that it mm -hmm. has for the efficacy of the effort, which, by the way, I think is generally has been very good. Sometimes I think when there's new leadership in place, there's this renewed hope of, okay, well, things might get better from here. And then, you know, <clears throat> yeah. you're into your term and we've had uh, shooting after shooting and, and the crime yeah. still continues to be a problem. I could see how maybe the public might get discouraged. I don't think they're going to get discouraged for, f let me say it this another way. I don't think that six weeks into anybody's term, people start to say, well, he's no better than the other guy. Mm -hmm. Because what everybody seems to understand is this is a long-term uh, long proposition to turn this violence around. Mm -hmm. You have to understand how deeply seated uh, in some of our communities that this kind of propensity for violence is. It's not something you can just, you can give a talk and change everybody's minds. I mean, these are, uh, these are, these, these are deeply troubling matters that will take a lot of time to turn around. But I believe public, the public's gonna give us time. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, at some point you own it. And mm -hmm. at some point, if you've not done your job, then I think you've gotta take responsibility for it. But for right, for right now, I don't think anybody is particularly disheartened by the, the acts of violence we've seen this month. As troubling as it is on an individual basis, I don't think anybody is looking at this and saying, oh, well, this administration can't handle it. Right. Well, what's going on with the nationwide search for the police chief? Is that still we're, ongoing? Uh, we're ongoing. Yep. We have uh, we have interviews coming up soon. Uh, we're interviewing. We've got applicants locally. The chief has already indicated that he is competing and he mm -hmm. intends to compete hard for this job. So we've got uh, we've got professional uh, advice that uh, we're taking advantage of. And uh, you know we're going to make we're going to make a decision that's best for our department wherever we go. But I I feel pretty good about the way this is, this whole exercise is going forward. Do you know when you might name someone? You know I would certainly guess within 30 days. But okay. uh, yeah, no, it'll be fairly. I mean we're we're well into the process now. 
So your office got word earlier this month about Hal Real's group World Cafe Live leaving the Queen Theater at the mm -hmm. end of May. Yeah. You know, was that sort of a, a hit in the gut or? No, not at all. You saw well, it coming? Not at all because I, I know they have, they have a, a plan B mm -hmm. right behind it. So, you know, we, I've discussed it with the, uh, the people up at Light Up the Queen. And, uh, and to be quick, clear, the, the Queen isn't closing. No, the Queen's fine. And, the, you know, I think all that's happened is it's just the management of the, of the, uh, the entertainment and the acts just uh, wasn't satisfactory. And for whatever reason, they decided to go their separate ways. And then, but I know there is, they've got a real good, strong backup. So you know, that's going to be going on. Did you take it personally when Hal Real said the revitalization on market just wasn't happening <laughs> as well, quickly as he had hoped? I, I certainly didn't take it personally at all. I mean... You know, I got here about 10 minutes ago, so no, I, that doesn't bother me. But I think that, I think that that is grossly unfair, mm -hmm. because I think the revitalization has been remarkable. And I think I, I like to look back. I like to point people to the riverfront, uh, in that for years we had, you know, we had so much going on, and yet there was something missing. Everybody always said there's something that's still missing. And as soon as we got people living down there, this, that something missing disappeared, and mm -hmm. all of a sudden it became you know, overnight it seemed to change. And I think that's what's gonna happen down here. We've got more and more people moving in down here and you're going to see that is what's gonna electrify uh, Market Street. Okay, we are out of time. Wilmington Mayor Mike Przicki, thank you so much for being here as our first person this week. And uh, we will definitely be seeing you again soon. Yep, I hope so. <laughs> Thanks, Charlotte.